My name is Andrew Hamaker. I'm a nuclear machinist mate first class. I was stationed on the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Um, my typical day being a nuclear machinist mate, so I'm a mechanic. We actually have nuclear reactors on the aircraft carriers themselves. And so I'm down there taking logs, lighting off equipment, shutting down equipment. Um, we produce the steam for the entire boat. The steam will launch all the planes off and catch the planes. Um, we produce w water on the boat. As for the water, um, I use a distilling unit, so we can make over 400,000 gallons of water, fresh water a day for the ship. And also with the lighting off and shutting down of the turbine generators, we make the electricity and it powers the entire ship with all the lights and all the other capabilities that we need. Um, with us having a nuclear reactor on the ship, we are also uh, a means of security and a safety blanket for it. Um, we have to monitor the reactor 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we end up having our watches. We go around and we actually monitor all the gauges and all the, the inputs and the outputs from the reactor to make sure everything is working as planned and how it's supposed to for the safety of the ship and also so we have the outputs from it with the power that we need. In order to have my job in the Navy, you have to take first the ASVAB. Um, you have to score very high in the ASVAB in your maths and your sciences with your physics and your chemistry. Um, after that, when you score high enough, they give you another test. It's the Navy placement, no, Navy Advancement Placement Exam, and that will qualify you to be a nuclear operator. After that, you go to your recruit training command for your basic training. Then you go to your technical school, which for me was be learning to be a mechanic. Um, after that, you go and you actually have a classroom, six months of a book study. It teaches you your math, so your calculus, your chemistry, your physics, your reactor theory, and your reactor mechanics, and how they actually build the reactor cores. Um, after that, you have another six month school, which is called Prototype, where you go to an actual operating reactor, and you have instructors there that help teach you, and you have all your hands on experience, and you learn how to safely start up, shut down, and operate a nuclear reactor. And then after that's finally done, that's when you finally get to go to your ship. So you have just about two years worth of schooling before they actually send you out to the fleet. Some of the harder parts of my job, which some people would call like almost the worst parts of my job, is the long hours that we are forced to work. Um, the reason for that is because the nature of the job with the nuclear reactor and having to keep it safe and the amount of maintenance that we have to do on it. We are usually the first ones there in the beginning of the day and we're the last ones to leave after the, over the whole entire ship. Um, before we actually get underway when we're in port, we have to show up a day early to start up the reactors to make sure everything works and everything's going smoothly. And then when we pull back in, when everybody else gets off the boat, we have to shut everything down and it takes a little bit longer. So we're on the boat a little bit later after everybody else is. The most rewarding part of the job itself is the fact that as a 20 or 21 year old, you're actually operating a nuclear reactor in the United States. It's something that not everybody gets to say without going to school for four or five or six years. And the fact that you are powering the entire aircraft carrier. You're making everything possible to make that ship go to go and do the mission. Some advice for my job would be one to keep your math and your science classes, all your grades up as high as possible. Um, also have that that willingness and that openness to learn because it is a job that is ever changing and it's something that you will always learn something new. I was on the boat for over six years and I'm still learning new things about my job and what it entails to actually operate a nuclear reactor.